Have you ever stopped to think about all the ways that we depend on energy every day? Whether it's keeping us warm in winter or powering our growing collection of electronic devices, it's hard to imagine life without it. Here at the University of Illinois, it takes a lot of energy to keep things running smoothly for our 43,000 students and 11,000 faculty and staff. So where does it all come from? It comes from Abbott Power Plant, which has been energizing this growing university since 1940. Today, the plant produces enough steam to heat the vast majority of buildings on campus and meet more than half of campus electrical demand. Abbott Power Plant generates steam and electricity simultaneously using a highly efficient and environmentally sound process called cogeneration. It's also known as combined heat and power, or CHP. The plant's founders were very forward-thinking when they chose this approach. They built an energy system that would generate both heat and electricity from the same amount of fuel. It's almost twice as efficient as a large utility plant. The U.S. Department of Energy reports that a typical coal-fired power plant averages just 34% efficiency. The other 66% is lost as waste heat. The CHP process that Abbott uses captures that waste heat and uses it to heat buildings. CHP saves money and helps the environment by producing fewer emissions than if the heat and power were produced separately. CHP is not a new technology. It's widely used throughout Europe to reduce fuel consumption and lower carbon emissions. Many U.S. campuses have CHP, and others are converting existing power plants to match the systems presently operating at the University of Illinois. If it weren't for the Abbott Power Plant CHP system, the university would have to buy all its electricity from the utility grid, where the waste heat is simply exhausted into the environment. As a result, using Abbott's CHP system to generate much of our own electricity produces fewer emissions than buying it from the grid. Not only is Abbott environmentally responsible, it's also fuel flexible. It can use three different types of fuels, so if the price of one fuel gets too high, the plant can switch to another source that's less expensive. Fuel flexibility also enhances reliability in case one fuel source becomes unavailable. With more than $600 million in funded research each year, reliability is absolutely critical to the university. Today, the plant's fuel mix is about 77% natural gas and 23% coal, but that can change if fuel prices change. Now, let's take a look inside the plant so we can show you how it all works. Abbott Power Plant produces thermal and electrical energy using three different systems, all under one roof. The first system utilizes a gas turbine similar to the jet engine of an aircraft. Air is drawn into the engine and compressed as it travels through a series of rotating blades. The compressed air then passes into a combustion chamber where fuel is added, ignited, and burned, producing hot gas. This hot gas expands across the turbine rotors, driving a shaft that powers an electric generator. The exhaust gas leaves the turbine at 1400 degrees Fahrenheit and flows into a heat recovery steam generator, which utilizes that intense heat to produce steam for the campus. The second system consists of water tube boilers powered by natural gas. They can also run on fuel oil if the gas supply is interrupted. The boilers convert water into high pressure steam, which is fed into a turbine that spins a generator to produce electricity. In a conventional electric plant, all that heat in the steam would be wasted. Here, it's captured and distributed to the campus through a vast network of underground pipes to heat dorms, classrooms, labs, and other buildings. The steam is used in radiators or coils to heat the surrounding air, or in heat exchangers to make hot water for cooking, cleaning, or personal use. The steam in the coils, radiators, and heat exchangers then condenses back into water and returns to the plant, where it's recycled into the boilers. The third system is the coal boiler system. 
The university has invested millions of dollars in special equipment to ensure that the boiler's flue gases are as clean as possible before they are released into the atmosphere. As the flue gas exits the boiler, it goes into the electrostatic precipitators, a series of electrified plates and rods. The plates and rods create an electrostatic field that captures any residual ash particles in the flue gas. The ash falls into hoppers that also collect ash from the boilers. The flue gas then travels into the wet scrubber where sulfur dioxide is removed through a chemical process. First, the gas is blown into the pre-scrubber where it is sprayed with water. This helps cool the gas and remove any remaining solid particles. Next, the humidified gas flows into the jet bubbling reactor where it is dispersed into a scrubbing liquid. Air and limestone are dissolved into the liquid through bubbling and agitation. The sulfur in the flue gas reacts to chemically combine with the limestone to form gypsum, which is pumped out, dried, and collected. The flue gas bubbles up through the limestone and once it exits the reactor has negligible amounts of sulfur. The final stage is the mist eliminator, which clears the gas of droplets and helps keep the ductwork dry. Using CHP to generate our own electricity rather than buying it from the grid actually offsets emissions from less efficient conventional power plants. Here are some of the environmental benefits. The Abbott CHP system reduces carbon dioxide emissions by 101,000 tons per year, which is the equivalent of taking 18,000 cars off the road. That's 13% lower than the proposed EPA standard. Using CHP also helps to reduce nitrogen oxide emissions by 560 tons per year. The scrubbers remove over 90% of the sulfur dioxide. And the plant's mercury emissions are just 7% of the EPA's allowable limit. We have a rigorous maintenance plan that keeps all equipment operating at peak efficiency. We are leading the campus in safety training for our staff with a comprehensive online and hands-on program. All of these investments in maintenance and new technology make Abbott Power Plant one of the most efficient and environmentally sound power plants. But we're not standing still. We continue to research new technologies so we can provide best-in-class energy services with the highest levels of reliability, environmental performance, and plant safety. For example, a new high-efficiency gas boiler was just installed, replacing an older, less efficient, less flexible unit. With our program of continuous improvement and innovation, Abbott Power Plant and its combined heat and power system will continue energizing the future for decades to come.